maybe just listen listen carefully and then because that is recording then if you want to repeat the watching then uh, let me know okay so just listen this carefully um, a better way to help us we can begin uh, help us to, to uh, help us a better way to help us uh, reducing our writings in doing the calculation is uh, showing using this as the the templates and the first step is again uh, utilize this transformation matrix that is to relate the geometrical relations between the pairs of the symmetric points and for this example we take x3 this plane x3 equal to zero is a plane of a symmetry we build out this table and then we found the relation of the stress and strain that is the relation of the stress and strain corresponding to the pairs of the points of the symmetry. Okay. The stress and the strain doesn't matter they describe in prop or in original corner systems. The associated Hooke's law component, for example, component must be equal, must be the same. Keep this in mind. I'm going to do it in this way. And listen this carefully. So for this case, um, This one, will be equal to, let me, uh, using black as my original template, and any adding additional things is in color, and help yourself move around to here to better look, see this one. This one, if we convert into the new corner systems, and that one is equal to tau one one prime and two two prime and three three prime and minus two three prime minus one three prime and one two prime. Okay, so that is the table I simply copy from here to here. And now my job is I want to have this minus uh, for this row. I multiply this row, the, this row representing each of these elements multiply the six element that represent, representing one linear equation, right? I simply want this minus to go to the right hand side of this equation. Okay, so that means if you do this carefully, so basically this row, let me implement it, minus two, three prime uh, in scratch, basically equal to two, three, one, one, epsilon, one, one plus uh, something something plus epsilon two three two three epsilon two three plus c two three one three epsilon one three plus two three one two epsilon one two something like this one. Okay, so when I go to the minus and become this one, then basically this one become minus and everything becomes <coughs> minus, right? Okay. So that means this one go to minus, that means I can simply add a minus here. Good. Through this kind of scratch calculations. In a similar way, this minus, we can go up here, here, minus. Good. Another side, for the strain, the same thing, we have the strain basically equal to um, epsilon one, one prime, this is equal to two two prime, this is the three three prime, this is two three prime minus, minus one three prime, one two prime, okay. So again here has the minus, I want to have the minus side get into the, the coefficient here. The same thing, we can try. Um, let us try the first row here. Okay, we see what happened. First row expanding basically C one 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 epsilon one one prompt plus C one one two two epsilon two two prompt plus C one one two three and epsilon three three one one three prompt plus C one 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 three 
one one two three and multiply with this one minus epsilon two three prime plus one 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 three and minus epsilon one three prime plus C one 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 two and epsilon one two something like this. Right now I multiply the six element with this six um, expanded like this. So now I want to have the minus sign moving from here into this element. If you look at this one here, basically this one is going to here and this one is going to here. So correspondingly, this one will go to here. in terms of expressions. Uh, in the new uh, corner system, that is the stress strain relationship described in the new prime corner system, which means in the symmetric point there, right? Compared to the original description, that is the tau respect to epsilon, that is the same one. So here I overlap the writing of the two Hooke's law relations in single one the compliance matrix of the two systems must be equal. Right? So which means you know what I'm saying? Okay, good. That means for your kids, uh, if 10 or 20 years later, if they watch this video, I wish the kids can provide me some the, the virtual reality. Let me copy and paste and put that one here, take them here. But anyhow, from the beginning, before we proceed, the additional, the, the writing about the prime system, that is the original writing of the relation between stress and strain. That is through this compliance matrix without any sign, without any color sign added up here, right? So that is our original system one. The second system is in the symmetric point, and that is described by this. The relation, I have moved the sign to here, so that is corresponding is the, the, the components with the added the color sign symbol here. The two compliance matrices must be equal. So in this way, the corresponding, this element will be equal to the original C1123. So that must be zero, right? So from here, we can easily identify this term must be zero, 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 zero. This is the easiest way. Again, in terms of symmetry, the symmetric component here will be zero. So from here, you can see that one basically match our previous calculations. Hopefully you follow me correctly. Good? Okay, and once you're familiar with the previous approach, and in terms of the calculation, I would prefer if you can get familiar with this one, go for this one. Okay, but everything is based upon the previous one, so for exercise, go for that one first. Once you're done without any problems, go this one. So we're done here.